Welcome to the Treat eLearning module on entering utility bills. This is part of a three-step process for performing the billing analysis in Treat. The first is to enter the bills, the second step is to run the analysis, and then finally you'll true up your model. We recommend watching the modules in this order for best understanding. In this module we cover only step one for entering the utility bill data. Before you get started, it's important to be sure you have a large amount of reliable data available in order to get meaningful results. We recommend that you have at least 12 actual utility bills available, covering at least a year for each analyzed fuel. The software is trying to determine base load as well as heating and cooling use from the bills you have entered. So if a fuel is used for both HVAC and base load use, it's important to be sure you have at least a few months available without any noticeable heating or cooling use in order for the software to determine base load. Let's get started. Utility bills are entered in the utility bills screen of the project index. The first step is to select the individually metered space for which you would like to enter bills. Often the bills represent data for the whole building. However, if you are modeling a large multifamily building, you are likely to have multiple meters. In this case, you could enter bills for individually metered spaces. We cover this in another tutorial. Once you have selected your metered space, you'll next choose the appropriate fuel from the drop-down menu. Any fuels that you have entered in the Fuels and Rates screen will show up in this drop-down menu. Selecting a particular fuel will populate the appropriate column headings with the units of a particular fuel. It is important to be sure that you have the appropriate meter and fuel type selected before entering bills. To begin, enter the date of the first bill that you have available. The start month, day, and year are the starting date from which the utility bill data was collected. This can be found on the billing statement. Next, enter the elapsed days. This is the number of days between the start date and end date of the utility bill. TREAT assumes that the amount of fuel specified in the usage field was consumed during the time period specified. Fuel usage from the utility bill is entered in the units shown here. Next, the usage in dollars is the dollar cost of the fuel for that time period. You'll select whether the bill is actual or estimated. Bills will be treated differently in the calculation depending on whether or not they are actual bills. Finally, you'll choose whether or not to include the bill in the analysis. If a bill you have is from a particularly unusual month, if the homeowners were away on vacation or something was happening in that month that made the use really atypical, you may want to choose not to include the bill in the analysis. Finally, you'll save your, your entry. Once one bill is entered, the default for other bills is set to the next day following the end of the previous bill. Overlapping utility bills are not allowed and will generate an error. There are two ways to enter utility bills in TREAT. You can enter the data manually, as we've just shown, or you can import the bills directly from a CSV file. Some utilities offer access to electronic utility information. This information can easily be reformatted for import. If you are using the TREAT Tracker online database as part of your program, you may have bills available for download, in which case they will not require any modifications and can be directly imported. Input files can also be created by the user, which can be easy to do if you already have the bills in electronic form. For help creating these files, select the Import Billing Data button and then the Help button at the bottom. This will walk you through creating the CSV files. It will show you the order that the data needs to be entered in comma-separated form, as well as a definition for each entry. 
Scrolling down further, we see that each fuel is given its own fuel ID number. And finally, at the bottom, you'll see sample files of bills that have been created into the appropriate form. Once you have your file ready, select Browse to search for the file you'd like to import. Once you have selected the file, move to the next screen. The following screens will check do you have to see if you have more than one account for each fuel. Now it's telling us that we already have one bill entered that shares the date as a bill we'd like to import, and it's asking us if we'd like to overwrite the existing bills, which we do. After import is complete, you'll get import statistics. In this file, for instance, one of the entries within the electricity bills did not have a valid date and was rejected. Now we can see that the utility bills have been added to the appropriate screen and we are ready to start the utility bill analysis. This concludes our training module on entering utility bills. Be sure to check out our website at treatsoftware.com. Here you'll find our additional e-learning modules, information on classroom and webinar trainings, you can download updates and find product information about the software, you'll also find a link to our help desk where you can browse frequently asked questions, search the database, and submit a question that you have about using the treat software.